Okay, so in this video, we're going to create a material for the sun that we've created. Um, so I'm just going to press F to frame that up so I can see it a little bit better. There it is. Okay, the first most important step before we create any new material, especially now that we've just created this one for the projector, is that this work area has got something in it. If I create a new texture from here, that's still going to remain cluttered. So before you create any new texture, you need to clear the, the crap out of the way. So I'm just going to right click and hold in the work area. You notice that I'm not actually doing it on this node, I'm doing it in some of the dark space. I'm going to go down to graph and just click on clear graph. And that means that the work area is now clear and ready to create a new material. Okay, the one that you're going to use whenever you don't want it to reflect is Lambert. This is a nice matte texture. Um, so I'm just going to click on that. There it is, Lambert 2. Um, and I'm going to rename that Sun M and hit enter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this two colours to sort of mirror the way that sunlight works so the colour itself is going to be a nice bright yellow so let's see what we can find um, let's try using this, this is nicer can we get it any lighter than that about that I think. Okay but for this one I'm going to change the uh, incandescence and that's going to add sort of um, a bit of a glow to it so I'm going to go for dark yellow slash orange for this. Okay that'll do it and you can see that that's now got a little bit of an orange outline to it. Okay now this time uh, when I'm applying this to the shape I'm going to do it in a slightly different way sometimes this is very useful um, to do it this way if you can't drag it using the middle mouse button for any reason um, so I'm going to find my sun material in the materials first, there it is, sun M I'm going to select what I want to apply it to, and you'll notice that selects everything because of the hierarchy that's been set up and then I'm going to right click and hold on the material and then go to assign material to selection and then release and you will notice that that assigns the texture to all of these. That's fine because the way that you work when you've got a hierarchy set up is you texture the parent first and then you texture the children objects later which will leave the sun's texture intact. Okay so that's that bit done. Um, we'll have a look at texturing the boxes next. 